Uh, what did you think of Georgina's reaction to to the sun? She didn't she just like ignore him for two hours? Yeah, I think she was just uh, <laughs> uh, processing yeah. how it would impact her, uh, how she was coming across her on the show. Her showman's. Yeah. Would you want um, Georgina as your stepmom? Mm, <laughs> well, I mean, you get to ride horses. Yeah. But she'd probably put you on like a bad one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then the others came in. Natalie celebrated by going around mixing from group to group, whispering in ears, trying to slag off Huey, told Leticia that Huey said she was a slag, which Emma later confirmed never actually happened. Hang on, who did this? Natalie. Natalie said all yeah, this. Yeah, because Natalie used to hate Huey, remember? She is a wooden spoon. <laughs> Not as bad as Andy, though. Yeah, apparently Huey said Leticia was a slut because she had a tattoo of a sheep. But now, so how does that work? it turns out that mm. Huey, mm. well, he said, I promise you, <laughs> well, I swear on my mum's life that I can't remember saying those things, which <laughs> makes you think that he did say it. He probably them. did. But apparently, Emma confirmed in... He did not say it. They looked back on the tape, she said, and he never said it. Well, we know that he Channel 5 said. does not lie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But... Huey said to Letitia, I like you in the house, but I didn't like you on your TV show. (laughs) But that's a reasonable comment, isn't it? It's like if you went on Celebrity um, Big Brother Mm. and you met, say, who's that really odious on the TV, like Benedict Cumberbatch or one of that lot? Mm -hmm. And he said, oh, Mm -hmm. I couldn't fucking stand you in, you know, uh, Sherlock or what have you. That's different. That's like acting. No, I think you're all right. (laughs) Right, now I've got a section on Charlie and Jason. Uh, oh, now... Go on. Where to... True love? Definitely. Well, I mean, I'd say it's true love about three and a half percent. Mm. Two, two, two percent of that is from her. Mm-hmm. The rest is just pure storyline <laughs> and game planning. Do you, do you not think? What about that um, lap dance she did for him? <laughs> ah, now, who was... I think it was the twin, twin was singing while she lap danced. Don't know if it's copyrighted material or not, but I got echoes of the... <laughs> Who was that girl from X Factor? Juicy boobs. <laughs> Suck on my juicy boobs. Who was in the lap dance then? Oh, Bianca, wasn't it? That, R- Rubble. <laughs> now, you see, that's a, Bianca's lap dance was quite full on compared to... I thought to you were going to say arousing. Charlie. But we looked... No, sorry. Charlie's lap dance was gross. But hang on. We looked and we... What did we look at? We rewound, we paused. Oh, yeah. And we saw that Jason's <laughs> crotch area did look <laughs> stimulated. So... <laughs> That was disgusting. Was it the singing that turned him on? Ugh. Or was it Charlie's Ugh. juicy boobs? She hasn't got juicy boobs. She's got like boobs like fucking boulders, like that one that chased Harrison Ford down the lane. And she's <laughs> also been on Snog, Marry, Avoid, because I heard, she? heard her talking about it on the live feed. Well, why didn't they sort the way she fucking looks out? Cause she looks you know on Snog, Marry, Avoid, they go back three months later and they've always yeah, gone, gone back, back to their old ways. <laughs> so. so then Charlie... Although, if you're listening in the USA... Isn't that a song called Long Lust or Leap? <laughs> I don't know. It's something, something shit. stupid. Something shit. So then Charlie was going, Oh, Jason, do you remember when we got the meat feet, feast pizza? Do you remember when we did this? Do you remember when we did that? And he's like, Ooh. Oh, you got a better memory than me. Oh, I don't remember that. <laughs> he remembers the three months trying to get rid of her, though, right? <laughs> yeah, that's strange. Like when, <laughs> when his BT was rolling, his memory kicked yeah. in good. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. anyway, the thing is, he doesn't want to. Uh, what, lead well, her he, on? No, he doesn't want to make any statements that give anyone any impression <laughs> either way. Yeah, true. He wants to sit on the fence as much as possible. Game planner. But I think he should be game planning. Mm. He should be, because he, if anything, mm. has got somebody that will not, well, you Yeah, hope, that's true, never not nominate him. him. Yeah, you're right. And we, weren't we discussing about the possibility of Jason nominating Charlie but I think said, I think that will never ever ever happen except under very extreme circumstances no way no way no because he's too scared of them showing it on the screen he will never ever do- imagine her reaction he's too fearful of the idiot British public he's just waiting for his mate, mates to do it for him isn't it what like, Vinnie Jones Evelyn and that isn't it oh yeah well so then um I've got a bit about Jane. Oh, God. What about when she had sex with John Terry, but she didn't know he had a fiancé? Well, hang on. Mm. She wasn't to know. I mean, um, uh, mm-hmm. 
he said that he had the painters in that week and uh, <laughs> that's why that's why she couldn't come in the house and oh the wife rung her up oh yeah I said oh are you so and so she was like oops yeah. imagine if you were John Terry's wife and you found out he'd slept with Jane you'd be like uh, why she's disgusted yeah, but hang on the end of the phone call was yeah. they ended up having yeah. a right good chat she, oh, really? he, John Terry's wife is lovely it turns out and all was rosy well that's good because John Terry is an absolutely animal disgusting pig but hold on how does Jane's um, escort not escort service that was in the past her what is it honey trap service work oh honey potters yeah so so you bring her up you're like Jane I think my boyfriend's cheating can you like she's like right I'll go I'll go and and get off I'll go and fuck him and then we'll reveal that he's and then she gets paid for that that's like is that a good business? Could you take that to Dragon's Den or? It depends on the kind of service you you want. I mean, mm. it's it's quite full on, but you know, yeah, it's a good service. <laughs> it's a good service. I don't know how much she gets paid for that, but she does give it all to charity. So Honey Point, absolute fortunes, mm-hmm. no doubt. She also slept with Sven Goran Eriksson. Right, I said that. How old is Jane? She looks like. In her 60s or something. I thought she was 51. Did I dream that? Fuck, man. She's gross. What's her stage age? Yeah, exactly. Um, Let's watch launch night again. But hang on. We've got to discuss. You sent me a picture. You already discussed this. No, but where's this picture come from? I don't know. Someone posted it on Twitter. Some sexist posted it on Twitter. And I sent it to you. (laughs) is, is Is it Photoshop? No. No, they put an emoji over a... Funny, but why it? was she? Was it porno? Was it? Yeah, like, it was like Jane, age thirty-five or something. She didn't look thirty-five. Thirty-five. It's about one hundred and five. Yeah, go on. What are you saying? Watch yourself. No, I just wondered where that photo come from and what was there. Um, I didn't get all the credentials. Maybe we could call Neva off Catfish and and find out. You think he's got time? I hope so. If not, we just get Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> he can he can deal with it. <laughs> so then, um. Natalie was put up on the block, needless to say. Well, you know, well. what choice do they have? But before she went, she caused a stir. Someone was pouring out some wine. Oh. And she uh, battered Th- Laura. <laughs> she destroyed her. Now, there was a storm going on at that time. And I didn't see what happened. So I was like, oh, my God, she must have done something really bad. And then when I watched it back, she literally just, like, swatted her hand out of the way. Like, she was being a cunt about the wine, don't get me wrong. But... Do you think she hit Laura? Well, I think in Big Brother, if even if you like knock someone or swipe someone, even mm. if it's by accident, you have to assume mm. that someone could interpret it as that and be careful. So it depends who you are, though. Really, doesn't it? it depends which housemate you are and how much they like you. But ja- Na- that Natalie was being a right old <laughs> I know, cunt. I, know. <laughs> so, I, don't, I don't want a victim one, but... But that Evelyn was like, she hit her, she hit her. And what was Ryan going? He was like... Oh, you're a horror. <laughs> you're a horror. <laughs> and then that Sam was going, oh, Ryan, a man shouldn't talk to a woman like that. Ryan is hardly a man, <laughs> let's be honest. No, but, <laughs> Sorry, no offence. No, but that's what um, Ben, I mean... <laughs> What's his name? Sam. Yeah. That's what he was saying. Just because he's gay doesn't yeah. give him the right mm-hmm. to go around like looming over people and intimidating but them. It's true. It's true. I do agree with that. Because but... you know, no, please. If a straight, <laughs> if a straight man, if John Terry did that to Jane, yeah. then you'd be like, oh my god, that is terrible. Like throw him out. I do completely agree with that. But who would win in a fight, Natalie or Ryan? I'd rather not see the um, <laughs> see the uh, I would. outcome. But we all know that Sam has got the hidden agenda of he wants Ryan out because that's his ex boyfriend. Right. Although there's no storyline around that. For they all the storylining at the start, they don't seem to even interact with each other, do they? They seem to get on just fine. Yeah, so yeah, fa- you it's failed probably, us. probably waiting for the outside <laughs> so we can get a magazine deal, isn't it? Well to say it in here. <laughs> do you think people were ganging up on Natalie or do you think Natalie was just just Yeah, the... I think to an extent they mm. were, but I think also to an extent mm. it's no surprise. Anyway, Natalie ended up Spending a night in the spare room. Right, now you say, <laughs> you say that you this is say. the David Guest um, it is. suite. He spent but several nights in there before he died. Have, twice. have they mopped it down for MRI say? <laughs> That's a good point. Shit, Natalie could be on the watch list now. Because we know Claire King's already had a, <laughs> a nasty run in, so you know, you have to be careful. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I thought the spare room had gone. So was it? Were you happy to see it again, or? Well, you is know, it... you only see it when you have to see it. But I think they've got a few spare rooms. But and... is, so they've got a whole other house now. But isn't that a treat when you like have a go at someone and you end up in the spare room? That's good. You get a bit of space, right? No, because you're miss you're missing out on absolutely everyone in the house slagging you off. Oh yeah, that's true. So you could at least block half of that just by being there. Mm-hmm. And also, it's a pretty bad punishment, I think. Really. Why is that? It's like, oh, for your protection and theirs, <laughs> we're going to seclude you from the house. <laughs> so the brain task is still ongoing. <laughs> ah, now, so we're going back to the... Now, do you think, looking at the... Oh, what are the, quali- the the requirements for being a brain power housemate? Is it being brainy? Mm, is it let's being... Let's see. St. Andy, sanctimonious. Right. Letitia, um, loud... Who's the other one? Chelsea. Um, uh, superior. Arrogant. Yeah. Lego hair. <laughs> what's the other? Seat for dishonest. Dishonest. What's, <laughs> this, what's the last one? I can't remember. We should, oh. we should definitely take in a picture of that. Absa bloody lootly. <laughs> so, so what they did was uh, the ta- a task where they showed them clips of other people slagging them off in the house. That's always a winner, right? Yeah, but didn't they show the whole house? Yeah. All the clips? Yeah, I think so. So they showed Andy saying Georgina was a bully, but there was never any comeback from that. Like, you never saw Georgina having to go at Andy about it, so I was quite disappointed at that. Mm. Um, then they showed Evelyn saying Jason was lovely and she hated Charlie for coming in and upsetting him. Charlie's like, you don't know him on the outside and all that shit. And then they showed Laura calling Sam, i.e. Ben, in your book. Oh, yeah. Letitia's little bitch. <laughs> now, that didn't go down well, did it? That was funny. He said, I'm not a bitch. I just like her very, very much. Do you remember his mouth was just agape in horror? Yeah. <laughs> so after that, like, Laura and Evelyn were like persona non grata, weren't they? Everyone hated them because of what they said. They did. They were forced into a click of two, weren't they? Mm. And they went to the diary room and cried. <laughs> but then they started doing some kind of histrionics. Yeah, that was weird. It was like mass hysteria in the DR. It was like they were told to like put on their alter ego. Yeah. And, but I... Well, one of them was really annoying me. I think it was Evelyn. Yeah. Singing about something, singing about chocolate or some bullshit. Really? It's really. Oh yeah, in the kitchen. It was really getting my goat badly. Please but... stop singing. So they've isolated themselves now, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, I think so. Although everyone's such a cunt that anyone could annoy anyone at any time. But I think you missed the bit. I, I don't know when this happened, and I could have dreamt it. It does happen. Mm-hmm. But um, I think. Evelyn said to Jackson, "Who oh, yeah. do you fancy, or who did when you first came in without <laughs> any preconceptions? Uh-huh. Who did you fancy in the house?" Yeah, and I think he said you and Georgina. I don't remember him saying. Well, that. no wonder Georgina's got the arsehole. Exactly. <laughs> so because Jackson loose lips sink ships, he's got a very big mouth on him. Yeah, fam. In it, fam. Fam, so it out. So this is the whole point where Letitia and Sam were like slagging off Huey. They were like, I hate Huey. Huey's false. Huey's aggressive. Then as soon as Huey got saved and got cheered, oh, we love Huey. Huey's amazing, blah, blah, blah. It's like so fake. Um, Yeah, but you say that, but hmm. I did notice in the... Hmm. um, When everyone was on the blog and Mm -hmm. Huey was one of them, obviously. (laughs) What? When he was asleep. (laughs) <laughs> yeah well, that, that was during the actual eviction but who was on the block it was Huey Jane Natalie. Char- Charlie yeah and I don't think Jane was up I know she wasn't you no, know I can't remember Natalie, Andy I think oh whatever yeah, anyway I so but I noticed that that uh, Huey was actually going around the house campaigning mm-hmm. and like he was working on the teacher quite hard beforehand all that, oh, I didn't say this, I didn't say that. Mm. Oh, I swear on my mother's life and all this. <laughs> he actually went to the trouble to work on her and mm. quite a few other people to, like, you know, charm them a little bit. He was, like, his own island. Like, he doesn't let things get to him. Like, people have a go at him and he'll blow up, but then he's just, like, himself again. Like, he's just, like, he's quite a self-contained sort of... Like, this romance with Ryan, for example. Like, Ryan's like, oh, I love you, Huey, and all this. And Huey just, like, shags him and then he's just like, no, we're not going out. And Huey just... he he's quite cool in a way until he's not yeah but he's not nasty with it no that's what I mean he's mindful of other people's feelings yeah but he's quite 
I think he's quite a unique housemate. He's quite... I don't know. He's interesting. He's one of the only interesting ones in there. Let's put it that way. Yeah, yeah. I'll go with that. Do you want to talk about James? 